We're here at the Vancouver Resource Investment Conference 2020. I have the pleasure of sitting down with Rebecca Kurswell. Rebecca is the founder CEO of Vo Social Media. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Great. So we're here to talk a little bit about um, the messages that public companies can put out via the different channels using social media. So why don't I let you start by telling us a little bit about Wo Social Media. Yeah, so I manage public companies social media channels. Primarily that's Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And I will manage them daily and put out, uh, create content, manage them consistently, grow their audience of investors. Um, investors I find are typically pretty easy to target on those, on those channels. They always identify themselves as an investor, very often, especially in the mining space, they'll have hashtag mining in their bio or hashtag TSX or CSC in their bio. Uh, so it's, it is, I find it quite simple to actually find them on social media and to see what they're talking about and what the sentiment is in investors. Uh, so I'll help companies grow their audience, uh, distribute press releases in a way that investors will find it and engage with it, um, and then help them generate leads using social media for their company email list. A very important aspect of, of uh, building shareholder confidence, yeah. getting the message out to new investors and people that you might have met at different shows and whatnot. Yeah, there, yeah. there obviously is a lot of different social media channels that companies can utilize to get the message out to the younger audience. Yeah. Who basically, everybody has a phone in their hand. Yeah. Uh, it's an yeah. easy, digestible way to get the information that you're looking for on these yeah. companies uh, on the go. Yeah. So I know there's a lot of different channels. Maybe do you want to talk about the different messages companies can use using these different channels? channels obviously there's Facebook Twitter LinkedIn uh, Instagram but I would imagine that each channel has a different message that you want to put out in a different audience so what yeah. are what are some of the experiences and, and things that you see when when you're working with companies and the messages that go on uh, that's a great question I mean yeah each channel is very is very different um, I mean Twitter is there's Twitter is very more interactive uh, because investors are very, like, that is the most popular channel for stock information and all the major influencers are on there. Like Rick Rule has an account, Eric Sprott, like everyone has an account on there and they're talking about what their interests are. And, and also, I mean, on Twitter, the cash tag, I and mean, that's really important. So the dollar sign and then your stock symbol, it's really important to use that in your tweets, especially ones that are about press releases or information uh, about the company, investment information about the company. So using that, it's really important on Twitter. I mean, I'm always surprised to see companies not including that or not including like hashtag CSC in their tweets as well because investors do search those hashtags and look them up. Right now too, using hashtag BRIC20, uh, that is trending and there's tons of conversation on there. So as an investor, that's a great way to find out like who are the influencers in this, in this binding group. And, and basically yeah. keep up with keep their up. insights on the different aspects of the industry. Yeah. Um, social media obviously has been around for quite a while. Uh, a lot of the other sectors and industries really utilize it, especially cannabis and tech. Yeah. Yeah. In the mining space, I know um, some of the companies and guys were a little reluctant in the beginning, a, few, a number of years back. Yeah. Um, they didn't really understand social media. They didn't yeah. really want to get the message out there. But as social media has progressed and as the years change and the audience changes, um, I feel it's a very important part about is, yeah. being able to get to get your message out to the audience where they are. Exactly, and controlling the, the conversation as well. I mean, the conversation is happening with or without you typically. I mean, if you have a, a company that has a, lot, a large investor base, um, you have great news coming out, maybe your stock, has, because you've had you know a major discovery, which I've noticed a lot recently, actually, a lot of mining companies have had some really good discoveries, and there's been major trends in companies that have been talked about on these social networks so this conversation is happening and it is important to be on them and to monitor what is the sentiment and um, is it good or bad and who are the influencers that are invested in talking about your stock I completely agree and I also feel that you know using social media as that due diligence tool is a big uh, key yeah. when it comes to making the right choices and in investing um, not only because the information is there is digestible but it, you're also getting it right away you're not yes. waiting for a press release to go out yeah. you're not waiting for um you know a, a video to go out and things yeah. like that it's it's something that's on the fly and it's it's, it it's right much. there and you reach the masses basically yes absolutely. so what do you see some of these companies doing um i don't want to be negative but what yeah. do you see some of these companies in their messaging that's missing it's missing 
timing is really important too. I mean, maybe you're a mining company that has an employee that comes in at nine and, and maybe you put the news out well, like well after the news is actually gone out. And I would never recommend ever scheduling your news to go out on a press release, like on social media because things change. And so if you're like, oh, we have news tomorrow, I'll schedule it to go out at 6 a.m. And then for some reason, it doesn't go out or IROC doesn't approve it or something and you have to, so if you, don't ever do that would be my <laughs> yeah, my you, main criteria. You don't want to be playing damage control. No, so yeah, I wake up at six o'clock and if I know a client is having news, I will, or if, then I'll get up early and post it. Yeah. So, so, now, social media and talking about the different channels, the due diligence process, let's take it back to the other side. So as an investor, yeah. uh, I know we've been talking about public companies and their messaging on social media, but as a young investor who necessarily is not familiar with the mining space in general, yeah. what would you suggest to them? Um, for diligence when they look at the different channels on social media. Yeah. What, 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 what key things should they be kind of picking out of these messages? Yeah, well, it's really important to decipher between what is promotional content and what is authentic content. Um, I mean, that may not be simple to a, a new investor, but how I, how I say you should decipher, like a lot of promotional content, there'll be a lot of it very similar from different accounts. Um, if an account isn't using their own picture, I mean, anybody using their own picture, and there's often bios that say, you know, I've been a mining investor for 20 years, I used to be an investment banker, or I'm a father or a mother, that kind of thing, they create genuine profiles, then you can assume that those are going to be genuine content. There's a lot of accounts on social channels that are just, you know, stock market tips or things like that, that uh, you'll just see very kind of spammy content. And so, when you're doing your due diligence process, it's good to see, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to look at the cash tag of the company and see like, what kind of content is there and what, what people are already saying, what is the sentiment, uh, what are people, and then again, too, I mean, you can get ideas of other companies to invest in because, say, a company had a lot of news that week and starting to trend on social media. I mean, investors are pretty, like, they're so passionate about their investments. Yeah. And you know they'll say I'm watching this stock and this stock and this stock, and they'll include charts and they'll explain why they're investing in it. And then you can find out maybe why a stock has gone up a lot recently, so you can see okay, well it had news last week, or Palladium is is trending right now, so that's why Palladium companies tend to be going a little bit higher right now. And no, that yeah. that that makes complete sense. Um, what I wanted to ask you is what made you build this company and get into the space like what did you see lacking when it came to the messaging on social media because yeah. I would imagine that's kind of what well I spiraled this yeah absolutely I mean I mean I am an investor I am you know reasonably knowledgeable in the space I spent about 10 years in it I've uh, so I've gained a lot of experience in it and I've worked with a ton of different public companies and so I feel like what I bring is actual investment experience and knowledge and understanding of what investors are looking for and wh where they communicate as opposed to maybe someone that didn't have that kind of experience and they were just kind of a part-time or full-time employee that you know had never invested or didn't know anything about pu the public markets or the influencers in it and that kind of thing. It's such a key to have um, the insight on both sides of let's say the boot space for yeah, instance. Yeah. Um, for a lot of young investors or just investors in general don't have that ability to attend conferences like this go yeah. talk to the people yeah. I feel that you know the people uh, behind these deals is a very important aspect of it you got to oh, yeah. do your diligence on the people Oops, and everything happening within the space <laughs> what um, basically would you say to the different channels people can use and where do they find yeah. what you have to, to put out what content you're putting out what channels can they find whoa yeah. social media um yeah I mean I'm more active for my own personal channel okay. than my company's channels uh, just because I feel like it adds more genuine and I like to engage with people and I like to use my own face um, but going back to what you said a little bit earlier about the people behind it it is I mean with any company it's really important to understand the people behind it I mean uh, like what is their track record and you know the best way to figure that out is really LinkedIn and I think I mean every CEO and everybody that works at a company should have a very polished LinkedIn that showcases their experience their qualifications um, and take pride in your successes put that on there and link to the company's LinkedIn page as well because people will likely go to that LinkedIn page and they'll see the, the employees connected to it and they'll click to that and then they'll see okay the CEO so that's really the best way to do research on 
the people behind it. That's, that's great insight. And of course, you know, using that LinkedIn channel, people can, as investors, can always feel free and reach out to that company exactly. or the people behind that company. Yeah. I mean, I would say if, if you're not getting a response, there's there's something happening. There. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you should be getting a response, absolutely. And maybe the investor relations um, consultant or person on the company can put a call to action that they can reach out, or here is an email if you have any investor questions please reach out on our website or if you're open to taking questions via LinkedIn Messenger. Awesome. Well, Rebecca, I, I want to say thank you for your time and sitting down with us, uh, not only talking to us about the different channels of social media that people can use as getting their message out from the company standpoint, but also from the investor standpoint of being able to do the right due diligence using these channels and educate themselves on the different aspects of the investment opportunities within Absolutely. the mining space. Yeah. Um, I look forward to, to sitting down with you again and watching the company grow. Um, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, yeah, thank you for having Cheers. me. Yeah.